I've got a secret to tell you. My husband doesn't know how to cook. I know it's shocking. In fact, the last time he tried to cook, he actually set fire to my oven. In an attempt to rectify the situation, I tried to teach him a few of his favorite recipes like chicken parmigiana. Which brings us to a musical menus quickie. Quickie. Today I'm gonna to make a chicken parma and a mushroom parma, but then turn them into a crowd pleasing burger. Why don't you get him to help? Uh, well, I could get him to help because he, he knows how to do it, but oh, look, he's, he's the one holding the camera. So um, I better do it myself. I can't remember the last time I had a dinner party where there wasn't a vegetarian or a vegan or someone who was just plain fussy. So it's great to have a few recipes that cater for everyone. First thing we need to do is to get our chicken and mushrooms crumb coated. The best way to do that is to get three bowls and a plate ready. The first bowl has plain flour, the second big eggs, and the third panko breadcrumbs. We'll do the mushrooms first so we don't contaminate them with the chicken. I try to only use one hand when doing this so I can keep the other clean to check Facebook. Oh look, toilet paper is now $400 a roll. When you're finished with the mushrooms, put them in the fridge and you can start with the chicken. Swipe left, swipe left, swipe left. <gasps> swipe right. Oh, it, it's recipes, I'm looking at recipes. I like to leave the chicken in the fridge for about 20 minutes before I fry it. Next, I'm gonna do some sweet potato fries to go with our burgers. Just cut the sweet potato into chunks. Coat with some olive oil and salt. and bake in the oven for about 30 minutes. Next, we're gonna make some tangy coleslaw. You can either have it on the burger or as a side. I'm gonna use some white cabbage and I've got some snow peas, some red onion, a bit of grated carrot. And then these are a little bit weird, but I love the sweetness of dried apricots and then the crunch of some cashew nuts. with a coleslaw, the mayo can be really a little bit too rich on a burger. So I'm going to use, well, this is a Vietnamese dipping sauce. It's really bright and absolutely delicious. It's time to fry our palmers. Now we don't need to cook them all the way through because they're obviously gonna go in the oven. This is just really to get a beautiful crunch on that coating. We're gonna cook the mushrooms first, then we'll do the chicken. Put them on two separate baking trays and then put a spoonful of a really good chunky tomato pasta sauce on top. Now you need to top them with some cheese. This is a pizza cheese mix. And then maybe some parmesan. These take about 20 minutes to bake in the oven, which gives us just enough time to get everything else ready. Because the Palmers have got two different types of cheese on them, you absolutely do not need any more cheese on this burger. Unless you happen to have some Gouda, and then you can put a slice on each bit like this and then warm them up in the oven. Lastly, we need some fresh ingredients. So I have gone with a very traditional arrangement of lettuce, tomato, and pickles.
everything is cooked now, so let's put together our burgers. Good to these look. We've got a mushroom parma burger and a chicken parma burger, sweet potato fries, and some tangy cold sauce. This would have to please absolutely everyone. What about vegans? Oh well, if you're a vegan, obviously I'd um, well I'd leave out the cheese and the other cheese and the cheese on the bottom. Oh, and I, ca I can't use an egg wash and I can't use these but but look. Don't worry, I'll do an even better version for vegans later. If you like these videos, make sure you hit subscribe on YouTube and find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you want the recipes, you can go to musicalmenus.com.au. Well, looks like it's time for dinner. Now, my husband did say he was going to make dessert, so wish me luck.